Hi! Today we are diving into the concept of the second brain by using a visual productivity tool X-Tiles who are kindly sponsoring today's video. Lately I have been using X-Tiles to manage and juggle both my personal and content creation projects, ideas, thoughts and tasks without the need to rely on this one, my actual brain, which is honestly a relief because sometimes I feel like my brain is just full of holes and everything falls through the cracks if not attended to. But with the second brain, everything is safely stored in one place and my mind can focus on creating and executing on my tasks and honestly, just to live my life because that's at the end of the day what we built these fancy systems for. So let me show you how to do all this planning and productivity stuff, whether you're a student, working, uh, maybe a content creator like me or just for your personal life but make it easy and aesthetic by using X-Tiles. There's two things that I want you to know about the second brain. And the first one is the para method, which means that you organize your information in projects, areas, resources, and archive. Projects are the things you want to do that have a clear goal and a deadline. Areas are these ongoing categories of your life that require attention, could be your finances, your health and wellness, or maybe your relationship. Resources are any information that you might want to store and refer to later, such as articles, maybe course and book notes, or programs, templates, anything like that. And archives is where you dump all the stuff that you no longer actively need to look at. The second thing is the code framework, which means that you capture information flexibly as thoughts and ideas and resources come to you. You organize it using a clear method such as para. You distill the information for easier use, for example, by making summaries. And finally, you express the information, you turn it into real life action and you make something of your own out of it, such as a piece of content, an essay or any other real life projects. So let me show you how to put all of this in action by using X-Tiles. Let's start from my workspace where I've created this second brain project. I really like to think of my brain as this lush and fertile garden of ideas, hence this picture. Welcome to my dashboard, do you like it? Well, I do, and that's the most important thing, to build this homepage to be this cozy corner that motivates you to work on your tasks every single day. I have a little countdown reminder here for my next holiday, an embedded Spotify playlist for focus, study and work. I really recommend these kind of playlists or even binaural beats if you want to focus. Then there's a cute little quote to remind me not to be a stress ball and my habit tracker as well. I have my current projects, both my personal and YouTube channel related ones. And uh, you can see a little preview of the tasks for each of these. And then I have some learning materials to execute these projects. I have important dates and my weekly tasks that are not related to my projects, such as um, different meetings that I have, hobbies, cleaning, fitness related things. I have here a small video schedule to remind me what I need to work on. And then I have my very cute vision board. And you can see that I have kind of adapted the colors of this page to this vision board so that they match. And next season, if my vision board looks very different, if my mood is different, I want a different vibe, I can then easily change the color schemes. Excels is probably the productivity tool that is the best alternative to pen and paper. I mean, this looks like a bullet journal. And my possibly a bit neuro spicy, stationary loving brain really loves this visual way of working through my goals because I can bring my own style and aesthetic and customize my notes very easily. And it's like your own digital notebook. And in my opinion, it's more visually flexible and also much easier to start to use than Notion, which is another great app that I like to use, but it can really have quite a bit of a learning curve. So I will show you later how to get started with x super easy by using their own template gallery. There are so many different functionalities in x -tiles. You can create these tiles and make them any size you want. And here you can edit the if you want an emoji there, the text to be different size, and of course the frame as well. You have many different styles and even colors. And as you can see here, you can also add your own custom colors, such as I've done with this muted pink one. And in these tiles, you can add text, you can add different tasks. In fact, you can even change this one into a task and you can add a date to that task here. You can add images either from their inbuilt Unsplash gallery or you can upload your own 
images as well. Let's say this one. You can add quotes here, files and embeds also. In fact, let's add here one of these nice focused YouTube music playlists. Look how nice it looks like this. You can also add tables. So for example, I'm at the moment participating in kind of a seminar type of series. So I could add a very simple table here. Now we can get to the para method and what I like about X-Tiles, this navigation bar up here is so cute and look at it, doesn't it look exactly like these physical planners? So let's get to my projects. You can see them here by status, so I have a few trips coming up, I want to do a channel review, I am going through a stretching program and uh, I also include any videos that I am currently working on here. You can see I've added some extra information, the priority, the area of my life that this is related to and if we open for example manifestation video you can see that I have also added any resources that I might need to complete this project. Tasks under this project with deadlines. I also have an image here. So the cool thing is that I can also see my projects in this visual gallery view and you know sometimes you just need that little mm, motivation to see what you are currently working towards. And finally you can also see the projects in this calendar view. So here we have only the main project deadline showing but I actually prefer to use it by showing also the tasks so it gets a little bit more cluttered but I really like to see everything here. Next up is area so these are categories of my life, my interests, the things that I need to keep up with. There's manifestation, my channel, fitness, nutrition, beauty, relationships, travel. And uh, again, I've added information about which projects I'm currently doing that are related to this area. And I have also added any resources uh, here. Let's see. Yeah, here in manifestation, we have a link to my book notes. And when you open these areas, you can see that I've also linked my video schedule to my channel. I have linked um, recipes to the nutrition. I've linked a lookbook to beauty. And here in nutrition, yeah, if you want to develop these areas a little bit more, you can start doing like long-term planning and brainstorming ideation here, what you want to achieve in this aspect of your life and then when it's time to you know state your new goals and come up with new projects you can refer to these areas then resources this is like your personal library you would add book notes course notes any templates um, podcasts whatever that you want to refer to later so i've added a couple of different things here that are related to my current projects i have the movement by david uh, stretching uh, program pdfs here I have book notes from a manifestation book that I am going to use in my next video. And then in archive I would add any completed projects or even areas and resources that I want to have stored somewhere but I no longer need to refer to on a regular daily, weekly, monthly basis. Xtiles has a really nice template gallery so I could not resist using it and customizing some of their templates to my own use. I have recipes here so I can view all of them or I can view them based on the time of the day or even according to my menstrual phase because I like to cycle sync my meals. And by clicking here, you can see the parameters and of course the instructions. I also have a very simple cleaning log to remind me what I need to do and some inspirational pictures. And I really like how x can be used for this really Pinterest-like visual vibe. So I made a lookbook. I'm trying to understand my color season, which I assume is light spring. So here I'm collecting the colors that are supposed to suit me and any outfit inspiration. I also have a wish list where I can link any items that I might want to buy and my quarterly goals. So here we have a bigger version of my vision board, my goal planning, some affirmations, monthly planning, inspirational pictures and all the habit trackers. So you could see that the October week one resides on my dashboard at the moment because that's the week I am in, but it will move here once the week is over and then I can switch to a new week. And what I really like is that you can create these groups. So once the quarter is over, I can start a new from a new page. But you can also create templates. So this is a template that I have created for my video planning. We have the title planning here, thumbnail inspiration, 
scripting section, any additional info, and again, the notes, the resources that I might need to finish that video. And by clicking behind here, save as template, you can save it as a template and create this video group. But I want to show you the template gallery, how easy it is to use. So my own templates will be found here. But let's look at uh, Xtiles gallery, because there's a lot of things. I believe one kind of thing we all would need is some type of weekly planning. You could see I do it on my dashboard. But let's check weekly planner classic. So we can check how the template looks. Okay, we like it. We can use it as pre-filled or without anything added, an empty one. Let's add it to the existing project so it will appear here. And you see, I can start customizing the look how I want it to be. Maybe I want the weekend to have a bit of a different style like this so that it pops. And a really cool thing that you can do with this kind of repeating pages is to convert it to a slider page. So now we have here weekly planner one, but I can create new ones. So this is again an empty one and all of them will be visible right here so all your weeks will be stored if you so wish note that this is a checklist it's a more squared one and if you want to make it into a task you can do so here so then it will appear in your task list and let's talk about that next so let's get to the code aspect of the second brain so code capture organize distill and express the idea of capture is that whenever an idea or a resource comes to you, you will be able to save it to your second brain. So be it an idea you get uh, on your morning commute in a bus, you're on your hot girl walk and you hear an amazing quote on a podcast and you want to save it, or you know you have a lot of tabs open and you want to save an article for later reference. And Xtiles offers three ways to do this. First of all, you can use the web clipper. So let's say we want to save this YouTube video here. Here is the web clipper. I just click it and then I can save it to my inbox. And I also figured that if I use, for example, a JetGPT, I can copy text, save to Xtiles and again, save it to my inbox. So let's look at this inbox. You see here, when I click it, we have both of the things that we just saved. You can also add things manually by using the same tile function here. And you can, for example, create a task here. Let's switch it into a task. Ta-da! And this also works on your mobile. So no matter where you get your idea, if you're on the go, you can easily save things to your inbox. Now, what is important to remember next is to empty your inbox every now and then. You don't want to clutter your beautiful system right away. So every now and then you want to go here and drag things to their right places. You can also move things to your different collections and pages right from here. Distilling information is also important. So if we go back to my book notes here in the resources, you can see that I have used bolding and highlighting to really get the best out of my notes. I could add a summary here. Summary. You know, this makes it much, much easier for me to actually act on all this information because my book notes, <laughs> they belong. <laughs> There's not really much point to a fancy system if it doesn't make you work towards your goals and dreams. And the next step really is to capture, organize and distill the information. But the process is really completed by expressing, making something of your own out of all of this. And Exiles offers a pretty powerful tool to help you execute on your tasks. You see here, tasks page. Remember all those tasks that I had here on my dashboard, under my projects, maybe even in my inbox? Well, they are all captured here, all across your different pages. So if you have not yet assigned a date for some of them, such as these two that we added, you will be caught here. Exiles will not let you get away with any of the tasks. You don't need to worry that something gets lost in all the pages. And here you can even expand the information and go to the right 
project or whatever page the task is under and see it right here. We also have a calendar view here where you can see all of the things and even allow a Google Calendar access. So I think Xstars really does a wonderful job keeping you accountable to actually execute on your tasks. And it's also a really nice visual way to work through all your goals and tasks and ideas and thoughts and whatever you want to store in your second brain. And it's completely free to start to use X-Tiles. There are also other plans, but you can get pretty far, in my opinion, also with the free plan. And it's super easy to start to use with the template gallery. And this might just be one of the most beginner-friendly and still quite a powerful system to build your second brain. So highly recommend. And if you want to use my template, I will add it to a link in the description and you can start using in my way and uh, optimize it to your own aesthetic. Whew, that was a lot of information. Thank you guys. And I will see you in the next video. I'll link something relevant here that you can jump to watch next. Take care, be well, bye bye.